In this, uh, in this lesson here, we're going to look at problem 1.9.10 from modeling a real and complex world. And so the first thing it asks us to do is compute the general analytic solution for this recursion equation, p sub n is equal to 0 0.25 times p sub n minus 1 plus 5,000. And so the first thing that we need to do um, is maybe write out our formula for the general uh, analytic solution. So that looks something like... Um, P sub n is equal to a to the n uh, times p naught minus p star plus p star. And so when we look at this, we already know what the a parameter is, right? Um, 0 0.25. But we need to figure out what p star is. And so, again, formula reference card tells us that p star is equal to d over 1 minus a. And so we can substitute our values in, which are... 5,000, and then 1 minus uh, 0.25. And so if we do this, that's going to equal um, 6,666.67. And so there's our equilibrium value. Now we can substitute that into our general analytic solution here. So we've got uh, 0.25 raised to the n p naught minus 6,666.67 plus 6,666.67. So this is our general analytic solution right there, right? It's general um, because we've left p naught in there. And so once we substitute an initial condition in, now we have a particular analytic solution. And so... Um, step one is done. The next thing says compute the particular analytic solution for uh, of the initial value problem where p naught is equal to uh, 600, right? And so now I'm going to add in here p naught is equal to 600. And so all we have to do for this particular analytic solution is write p sub n is equal to 0.25 raised to the n 600 minus 6,666 plus 6,666.67. There is our particular analytic solution. So the last thing we need to do is, is verify the particular analytic solution. So the way that I'm going to do this is I'm going to iterate using the recursion equation on the left-hand side of the page, and then we'll use the analytic solution, um, substituting value, different values of n, into the analytic solution and, and just compare our results to make sure that we're doing things correctly. And so we know um, that P0 is equal to 600, which means that P1 is going to be equal to 0.25 times 600 plus 5,000, which is going to be equal to 5150. And P2 is equal to 0.25 times 5150 plus 5,000 which is equal to 6287.5. P3 is going to be equal to 0.25 times 6287.5 plus 5,000, which is equal to 6571.875. And then P4 is equal to 0.25. <clears throat> times 6571.875 plus 5,000, which is equal to 6642.969. And so that should be enough terms uh, through recursion that we can compare using our particular analytic solution. So now if I slide over, um, rewriting our particular analytic solution, we have P sub n. Actually, I'm going to do this in a different, different color ink here. <clears throat> we'll say p sub n is equal to 0.25 raised to the n times uh, 600 minus 6,666.67 plus 6,666.67. Right, and so, so that's our <clears throat> particular analytic solution. So now if we're going to test this or verify it, we need to substitute some values in. So let's just check what happens if we we look for P0, and so we do 0.25 raised to the 0, um, 
times 600 minus 66, 6.67 plus 6,666.67. Um, so that equals, well, this is just going to be 1 times uh, negative 6,006.67 plus 6,666.67, right? And so when we do this, we just get 600 back, and that's what we should have gotten, right? And so now we've got P1 is going to be 0.25 raised to the 1, which is going to be 0.25 um, <clears throat> times negative 6,006.67 plus 6,666.67. This is going to be equal to 5150. Do the same thing for P2. Uh, 0.25 raised to the 2 times negative 6,006. 0.67 plus 6,666.67. This is going to equal 6287.5. Right? And I can keep doing this all day long. We'll just do the last one, P4. Should equal 0.25 raised to the fourth times negative 6,006.67 plus 6,666.67. And this does equal 6642.969. And so looking through recursion uh, and iterating, as well as the analytic solution, I've arrived at the same answer for each end. Uh, and so I, I can feel confident that I've done this correctly.